So you've dealt with intersecting functions before. These are two functions and you can sketch them and they intersect at a point. And you can find that intersection not just by sketching them but also by solving simultaneous equations. One method for doing that is called substitution where you sub one equation into the other equation. So if y equals 2x minus 1 and y equals negative x plus 2, I can take this and sub it into this equation for y. And then it's just a matter of solving that for x, finding out that x is equal to 1, and then subbing x equals 1 back into one of those equations. And it turns out that our point of intersection here is 1, 1. That point there is 1, 1. We can do the same thing for more complicated functions. So here I have a linear equation and a quadratic equation, and I want to know where they intersect, the point of intersection or maybe the points of intersection. In fact, when you've got a linear equation and a quadratic equation, there are three different things that could happen. You could have a quadratic way up here, and a linear function along here, in which case there would be no points of intersection. You could have a quadratic that looked a little bit like this, and a linear equation that went like this, in which case there are two solutions, and of course, you could have a very special case where you've got a quadratic equation and a linear equation that just, just touches it at a single point, what we call a tangent. A tangent just touching a single. So these are our three options. We don't know which of these is going to happen yet, but let's try to find the point, points, no point of intersection between these two. So we're going to find our points of intersection and we're just We've got simultaneous equations, so we just do what we've done with simultaneous equations in the past. We're going to use substitution. We're going to sub equation uh, 2 into equation 1. And this is relatively straightforward because they're both written as y equals something. So we can just sub all of this into this equation for y. So we get x squared plus x minus 7 equals 2x minus 1. And then we just simplify this. So we get x squared, x minus 2x, which is minus x. And then uh, let's move everything over to one side. Negative 7, the negative 1 comes over as positive 1. So we get negative 6 equals 0. Now from here, you can solve this however you want to. It looks factorizable to me. So I can do like a little something like this. Uh, I think I need like a 2 and a 3, and then uh, I need it to be negative, so I need more of that than that. And you can expand that to see that that's true, but I'm feeling good about that. 2x minus 3x, yep, yeah, okay. So, what is x? Using our null factor law, we can say that x equals negative 2 or positive 3. So the points of intersection between our quadratic and our linear equation are going to be at x equals negative 2 and at x equals 3. Now that we have those, we can sub both of those solutions back into y equals 2x minus 1. So sub x equals negative 2 into uh, y equals 2x minus 1. When we do that, we get y equals 2 times negative 2 minus 1, negative 4 minus 1, negative 5. So one of our points of intersection is um, negative 2, negative 5. Now our other point of intersection will be at sub x equals positive 3 into y equals 2x minus 1. By the way, you can sub it into either one of those, but obviously it's going to be easier to sub it into the linear equation than it is to sub it into the quadratic. Uh, so y equals 2 bracket 3 minus 1 equals 5. All right, so our second solution here is 3, 5. So we have two points where these, this quadratic and this linear equation are meeting. Now, I know that y equals 2x minus 1 looks a bit like that. I know that this quadratic is like a smiley face. Uh, so I can say that I have boop, boop, I have a point here where they're meeting, but I also have like a point over here where they're meeting. And imagining drawing that quadratic, it probably looks a little bit, oops, probably looks 
a little bit like that, a point of intersection there and a point of intersection there. Of course, you can graph both of these on your graphics calculator and see those points of intersection. Now that you've done that, thinking back to here, I said there was going to be zero solutions, two solutions, or one solution. That should make you think of the discriminant. So what I could have done at a point, when I got to here, right, I knew that I was going to solve this and find either zero solutions, two solutions, or one solution, and it's a quadratic. So I could have put this into our discriminant formula, b squared minus 4ac, and from there I could have figured out whether I was going to have zero, two, or one solution. And that's the crux to this next question I'm going to show you. So, find the value of c such that y equals 11x plus c, so this is a linear equation with an unknown c value, is a tangent to y equals 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. All right, so this is obviously a quadratic. So the situation is this. We have a quadratic uh, that probably looks something like that. I don't know exactly what it looks like. I'm not thinking about it too hard. We have a linear equation that has a gradient of 11, so very steep. But we don't know how what its y-intercept is. But what we do know is that we want it to make a tangent. We want it to form a tangent with our quadratic. So we need that c value to be such that it makes a tangent there. In other words, when we take these two equations and solve them simultaneously, we need the discriminant to be equal to zero, because that will give us a single solution. Okay, so we know we're dealing with a discriminant here, so let's take a look at our equations. We have one equation, y equals 11x plus c. We have another equation y equals 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. If we're finding the points point of intersection, we need to solve these two simultaneously. And we know solving them simultaneously, we just use substitution. We sub equation 2 into equation 1, and we get 2x squared uh, plus 3x plus 1 equals 11x plus c. Okay. We need to be a little bit careful here. Let's move all of this over to the left-hand side. So we'll have 2x squared, positive 3x, minus 11x. So we're going to get minus 8x here. And then this bit, we're going to have 1, and then minus c. Plus 1 minus c. Now, it's important to note that c is a number, right? So this whole bit here is a number. And if we knew what c was, we could put them together. Okay. So, that's all going to be equal to zero. Now we know that our discriminant will tell us how many solutions we're going to get. And we want our discriminant, our desire, is for the discriminant to be equal to zero. Because if the discriminant's equal to zero, it'll be a tangent. There'll be exactly one solution. So, b squared minus 4ac needs to be equal to zero. b squared, b is negative 8, so negative 8 all squared minus 4 times the a value times the c value. Now, this is the c value. I know there's a c looking at you, but the c value is whatever the whole number is. And in this case, the whole number is 1 minus c. We need that to be equal to 0. So we have 64 minus 8 times 1 minus c equals 0. And now we're just solving for c. So, 64 expand, negative 8, negative 8 times negative c is positive 8c, equals 0. Uh, 64 minus 8 is 56, plus 8c equals 0. 8c equals negative 56, which means that c equals negative 56 divided by 8, which is negative 7. We are done. Find the value of c such that y equals 11x plus c is a tangent to y equals 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. c equals negative 7. So that means that this point here is negative 7 here. That's my linear equation. And it means that they're going to meet at a single point. And if I wanted to, I could now, using y equals 11x minus 7 and this equation here, find out what that single point is. But I'm not going to go that far. Now, of course, 
You can check this on your graphics calculator. You can write y equals 11x minus 7. You can write y equals 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 in there. You can sketch them, and you should find them meeting at a single point. That's intersecting functions with a little bit of discriminant thrown in there.